Hi everyone, Amtrak Guy365 here. Today I'm here to talk about the Bombardier Alstom HHP-8. Amtrak's popular and reliable AEM-7s were going in for rebuilds into AC power and refurbishments as they were nearing their 20th year in service. To compensate for those units put out of service and to replace the aging and ill-fated E60 once and for all, Amtrak ordered 15 new high-speed electric locomotives. Technology for these new units would once again come from overseas, in France. This locomotive would be a joint effort between Bombardier Transportation and Alstom. Manufactured by Alstom, this new locomotive drive system would come straight from the mixed-traffic French-Italian SNCF BB 36000 locomotive. The new locomotive would come to be known as the HHL-8, high horsepower locomotive with 8,000 horsepower. The name was later changed to HHP-8, meaning the same exact thing. Along with Amtrak's order of 15, number 650 to 664, the Maryland Area Regional Commuter Service, or MARC, ordered six units numbered 4910 to 4915. MARC's units would operate on the Penn Line between Perryville, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Around the time of the HHPA order, Amtrak was also looking to modernize their electric fleet with the first and only high-speed train set in North America, the American Flyer. The HHP-8s were built starting in 1999. The locomotives came equipped with a 6 megajoule crash energy resistant stainless steel car body. The brake system is regenerative and rheostatic. This meant when dynamic braking occurred, the flow of electricity being used by the locomotive is reversed from the traction motors and put back into the cantonary wires, allowing other trains to use that excess electricity. The HHP-8's livery was similar to that of the prototype American Flyer, later Acela, train set. Moving on to locomotive statistics, the HHP-8 rode on a B-B wheel arrangement, was rated for a top speed of 135 miles an hour, but due to FRA Tier 1 standards were limited to 125 miles an hour. The locomotives came in at a length of 67 feet 1 inch, a width of 10 feet and 4 inches, and a height of 14 feet 2 inches. The locomotive weighed in at 222,000 pounds exactly, and most units came equipped with Nathan K5 LA air horns. Here's a few samples. The HHP-8s went into service in mid to late 1999 pulling numerous services up and down the Northeast Corridor. However, this is when Amtrak discovered a problem. With such high horsepower rating when accelerating from a standstill, wheel slip could become a common issue tearing up the rails and the wheels themselves. This especially didn't help during the autumn months when the leaves were falling and rain is plentiful. And I thought this was only a British problem. The microprocessors and cab signaling in the engine would also malfunction or completely fail during adverse weather conditions. The locomotives would break down with mechanical failures and repairing them to working condition took longer than expected. The locomotives also tended to display side to side at higher speeds. This was thought to be within the truck design but nothing really much was done to fix them. Another issue revealed in 2002 was cracks in the trucks causing the temporary removal of all 15 HHPH from service along with the Acela Express train sets. In 2000, prior to the Acela Express train sets being put into service, HHP-8s were painted into an Acela Express paint scheme for the newly extended Northeast Regional Service from Boston, Massachusetts to Washington, D.C. This was also in response to the completed electrification of the Northeast Corridor between New Haven, Connecticut and Boston in 2000 preparing for the Acela Express arrival. The HHPA essentially acted as an Acela train set, but instead of power cars, was a dual cab individual locomotive. Between 2000 and 2003, the train was known as the Acela Regional, but in 2003, with the new Acela train sets in service, Amfleet's and HHPA's previously in Acela Regional paint reverted to Phase 5 paint. In October of 2010, Amtrak placed down an order of 70 for a new electric locomotive to replace both the AEM-7s and HHP-8s. This was the Siemens ACS-64 City Sprinters. Rather than retiring the HHP-8s immediately, Amtrak retained the units on their roster as a single mode of power standardization would cost less. ACS-64 service began on February 7, 2014 with a Northeast Regional train. This marked a transition period for Amtrak Motive Power. All Amtrak's units reside in storage at Bear, Delaware and are speculated to either be scrapped or salvaged for parts. Despite claims Mark planned to replace their HHP-8s with Siemens chargers, Mark meanwhile in 2017 started a successful refurbishment program for their HHP-8s and continued to operate them to this day. Amtrak's HHP-8s ultimately racked up at least a million miles in their service lives racing up and down the Northeast Corridor. 
Perhaps transitioning technology from the 20th to 21st century was the root of Amtrak's problems. Despite their faulty service life, they will always be a part of the history book of Amtrak, the National Railroad Passenger Corporation. Thanks for watching! Thank you to all the following people and sources for providing info, photos, and videos for the production of this episode. I will be concluding Engines of Amtrak next time when I discuss the Acela Express train set. Stay tuned, and thank you again for watching.